Hello, this is Mike at Rally Navigator, and today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of our time, speed, distance function uh, for Rally Navigator. So let's go ahead and open up the road book. So uh, I'm supposing you already know how to make a road book. If you're uh, unsure, go to our uh, cross country, how to create a road book or road and stage rally. So the time and speed distance function is the same for either cross country or road rally. So uh, I'm gonna use a road book in cross country format today. Um, so once the road book is done, uh, to begin using the time speed distance function, we need to insert some target speeds for our road book. So let's start at waypoint one. We'll fly to this waypoint and open up our waypoint editor. So opening up the speed tab, we just need to add some target speeds to the road book. So let's add 20 kilometers to waypoint one. We're gonna go down here to waypoint four, add 55 kilometers an hour and waypoint nine, we're gonna add 80 kilometers an hour. Uh, so assign the speeds you'd like throughout the road book. I'm just gonna arbitrarily add a few speeds here so we get some different calculations. And that will do it. So, um, so we've gone through there and added our target speeds. Uh, the next feature you can use in Navigator is you can actually drag and drop the predicted key time to each waypoint. Now I know this wouldn't be used in competition, but occasionally it's a nice help if you're using doing an introductory road book or for the first stage of an event. If you'd like to add target times to each waypoint, uh, it helps competitors uh, make sure their calculations are right and give them a sense of how things are going. So simply drag this TSD time icon here. This will add your target time to the waypoint. So waypoint one, we're obviously zero. So we can go ahead and add our target times to a couple of these waypoints. Uh, and then if you decide later you don't want this waypoint or don't want the target time here, click on the target time and click delete. And that will go ahead and hide the target time for you. So um, I'll add a couple of these in here just for fun. Um, so, okay, so now we've got a road book that is ready to print. The uh, waypoint details are complete and all the target times have been, uh, or target speeds and some target times have been added. And let's go ahead and add a target time here at the very final waypoint and uh, lets competitors know. So that's a two hour and 14 minute route as it sits right there. So once all that information is in and you're happy with it, we're gonna go ahead and click print GPX. So in this window, uh, we can pick our PDF paper size. Uh, we're gonna auto highlight it. Uh, I can download the GPX or not. You wanna check this box for a time speed distance worksheet. And this is gonna go ahead and download the Excel worksheet uh, along with some other stuff. So let's print roadbook. This takes just a second to get going. So now we've downloaded our files from Rally Navigator. So, um, to go over the downloads, the time control worksheet, uh, this can be printed out and handed to all of your time control workers with your event name, time control, waypoint number, staff, start location. Uh, you also give your stage start time, interval, target time, and first car arrival. Uh, your time control workers can copy car number, an hour, minute, and second of arrival time of day. So just print out as many copies of these as you need for your time control workers. Uh, Roadbook is ready to go. Um, I did select the auto highlight feature, so we have our auto highlights in here. But you can see we have our speeds and our target times have already been calculated and displayed in the roadbook in our select waypoints. So uh, going back to our folder, we do have our GPX track, uh, title the GPX track along with all of your waypoints. This is useful uh, if you're an event organizer. Um, then getting into the Excel spreadsheet. So we have our Excel spreadsheet. I'll go ahead and open up that. And uh, three different pages on the Excel spreadsheet. This is a summary of the stage with waypoint number, latitude, longitude, segment and total distances, assigned speeds, segment times, and total times. This is just something to refer to, uh, kind of an overview of your stage. The time control worksheet I just showed you in PDF format. Here it is in Excel format. This is fully editable, so if you wanna customize this, go ahead and go for it. Our time calculation, this is really the meat and potatoes uh, of the TSD function. So um, getting this started, um, you can completing the fields in red, your event name, stage name. So let's go ahead and pick out which roadbook waypoints we're gonna use for time controls. You can choose your the stage start 
and the start interval between each car. So this is 7 a.m., one minute between cars. So let's go ahead and enter our uh, car numbers. So, so generally popping your car numbers in here, this car one starts at 7 a.m. and uh, we're gonna make Roadbook Waypoint 5 our first time control. So that's me time control one. Um, and now this is already pulled off of that roadbook data. It knows what the target arrival time is at waypoint five. And then we're gonna go ahead and stick in the actual arrival time, which you're gonna get off of your time control worksheet. So this should be arriving at 703.12. We're gonna say they were at 703.25. And this is gonna go ahead and calculate the time variation and the points earned. So the variation in points calculation is, is done right here. So a car early or late, zero to four seconds, five points. And you can see down the line, again, this is totally customizable as well. So let's go ahead, pretend we're gonna have three time controls. So we've got the information for time control number one. We're gonna copy this sheet, create a copy, move it to the end. And now this is gonna be our time control two and that's going to be at waypoint 11 and let's make another copy of this sheet and this will be the end here so time control three is going to be at waypoint 23. oh i didn't have 23 points 18. okay so now we've cre created Time control one worksheet at waypoint five, time control two worksheet at waypoint 11, and time control three worksheet at, at uh, waypoint 18. So um, this, this has all the information you need now. So we'll go back to our time control worksheet, which has now been filled out by your, your course workers. Uh, car one should have arrived at 7.03. We put the time in and let's go down and uh, just add 04. 22. So this is going to go down here and assign all the points earned. So uh, let me go through here and finish up inserting some uh, arrival times and then we're going to go show you how to complete the end of the sheet. All right, so now I've entered in some sample arrival times uh, for my nine participants in this rally. So uh, car number one should have been there at 703.12. They got there at 703.25. Their variance was 13 seconds. They earned three points per the schedule up here. So going down through time control one, all the cars, all the arrival times will calculate points for each car. So I've done this for time control one, time control two, and time control three. So you can see for time control three, I've actually modified the uh, arrival time window and also the points. So you see some of these cars are getting up to seven points instead of the other time control, which capped out at five points. So there is a, a possibility to uh, change this. These sheets are totally editable. If you wanna make any changes on them, uh, go ahead, they're yours, have fun with it. Uh, so now once we have our points calculated for the first three time controls, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just copy and paste the points uh, for each of the time controls into this unit right here. So when I want to paste, I'm going to paste special the value right there. And let's take these values, my first nine cars. Copy these, go back to our first time control sheet and paste the value. So there's our three time controls. So we're going to Hit this with auto sum. And there you go. So let's fix some formatting. Yeah, I know these are my total points, so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this stage. So uh, that's how I would do that. Take the time control points off of each of the time control sheets. Uh, we know this is time control two, time control three, and points. Uh, so that's the little way to finish that. Uh, and calculate it and give that to anybody who's doing scoring for your event. Um, so that's a summary of the time, speed, distance function in Rally Navigator. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me, mike at rallynavigator.com and also check out the time, speed, distance tab in Navigator. This has got more information uh, as well for you. So have fun making rally roadbooks.